Today we're going to check uh, boromite threshold levels. Um, I use the sticky board method. Um, I find it's easier and it, uh, is a lot, it's pretty self-sustaining. Um, whenever the campaign is done, you go pick up these campaign signs, you get them pretty well for free. You cut them up uh, to fit the bottom of your hives. You uh, put Crisco on them and Vaseline mixture and uh, there you go. You can check your uh, boromite uh, threshold level. Um, the other option is to go buy pre-made stuff, buy pre-made boards. Um, y if you continue to buy everything that you can make yourself, you're constantly ordering stuff, you're constantly putting in more money before you've even made any money. Uh, so it's really important that um, you try to keep the cost down and this is something you can do yourself. I'm just cleaning up the old boards and get them ready to put the uh, new mixture on. Um, see the brewer mites, they fall out of the hive and they land in the uh, Vaseline Crisco mixture and they can't get out of it. So, if you count and check them later, you will uh, give a good idea of what your threshold level is inside your hive. If it is too high, you really, really have to treat, especially coming into winter. Okay, get the roller, we roll it even, and then we start rolling up the boards. Um, it doesn't have to be really that thick. You want a thin layer. It's just enough that they can't crawl off it. What you're going to do is you're going to take a sticky board and we're going to stick it underneath the hive. We're here 48 hours later. We're going to pull the sticky boards and see what the mic count is. Here's hive two. Um, I haven't been able to find any varroramite. Um, this is incredible. Um, hive one had two. Hive two doesn't seem to have any. 